What is up, lit people? I'm Armenti, and welcome back to another Doodle World video. Guys, for today's video, I'll be covering the entire Doodle World Easter event that literally got released under an hour ago. Okay, guys, so this is this Doodle World Easter event. There were a lot of new Doodle skins released in the game, which is quite insane how they look and how easy it is to obtain them. You read it in the title, and no, this is not clickbait. You can actually get all of these new skins for free in the game, okay? But it does require a lot of grinding but it doesn't exclude it from the fact that you can get all these skins for free in doodle world first let me show you every new skin that was just added into doodle world because these doodles look amazing and then i will be telling you how to get them and after telling you how to get them i will be telling you how to get them for free in the game okay so if you go to our pc box over here we will access doodle storage and here they are these are all the new skins we have a glovey skin we have a riff rat we have a wiglet mold moss borbo there's a lot of new skins that were added and now you guys have seen the skins let me just show you one by one where to get these skins and how to get them for free okay guys so as you can see right now we're at crossroads and i literally have an easter borbo how do you get the crossroad easter skins okay personally i believe that crossroad is the best place to hunt for the easter skins because look at the amount of skins that you can find in crossroads you can find the burble easter skin you can find the wiglet easter skin you can find the springlin easter skin and you can find the peblet easter skin and the glub easter skin you can literally find it anywhere in the map because when you unlock Glubby, Glubby appears anywhere in the game. Now, how do you get these Easter skins? They look super cool. They're super cool to see. And how do you get them? Well, so let's say you want to hunt Burbo. Burbo spawns in Route 1, Route 3, and Crossroads. So hunt in either of those three routes, and at a 1 in 1,000 chance, you'll be able to find a Burbo. Now, let's talk about Wiglet. Wiglet spawns in Route 4, Graphite Lodge, and Crossroads. So hunt in either of those three places for Wiglet, and you'll eventually find the Wiglet Easter skin at a 1 in 1,000 chance. Springlane only spawns at Crossroads, so if you want the Spriglin Easter skin, you have to go to the crossroads and hunt for Spriglin and hope to find the skin at a 1 in 1000 chance after rolling a Spriglin. The same thing applies with Peblet, so if you want to find the Peblet Easter skin, just go to crossroads and run in the wild and it has a 1 in 1000 chance of appearing. And as I mentioned before, there's actually a free way to get these skins, so which made it that if you change 500 of the doodle that you're hunting, the 501st encounter of the doodle, you will find the Easter skin. I've made a video before on chaining, there are many videos on chaining if you don't know how to chain. Okay, so let's say you strictly want to find the Peblet Easter skin. You go in the wild, you start hunting it, and you're not finding it. So start chaining Peblet. Let's say you've killed 350 Peblets and the Easter skin still does not appear. Let's say you've killed 450 Peblets and the Easter skin still does not appear. If you kill 500 Peblets in the wild without finding the Easter Peblet skin in the wild before, the 501st encounter that you get of Peblet will be an Easter skin. Same applies for literally every other doodle. So with Burbo, Wiglet, Springlin, Peblet, Larvin, a bun sweet riff red mold moss but there's a difference with glovey okay as you can see right now i have a glovey easter skin and how do you get the glovey easter skin for free because you can actually get it for free to find this, you have to find over 50 Glubbies in the wild and kill them consecutively. And after you find 50 Glubbies in the wild and you kill them all together, the 51st Glubby that you find in the wild will have the Easter skin. So this is really, really cool. You can literally find all these skins for free in the wild. Okay, so I've covered Crossroads. Now let's go on to the next route and let's see which doodles you can encounter over there. Okay, so we're here at Graphite Lodge and you can see there's grass over here. And there's actually two Easter skins that you can encounter over here. The first one being Larvae, which looks looks very very amazing and the second one we already covered it at crossroads but you can also find a wiglet here in the graphite lodge in the wild by just running in this grass over here and as always glovey appears in every route in the game i want to make a small pause in this video to show you how wiglet's easter skin evolution looks okay this is pompadour this is wiglet's evolution and this is crazy by the way guys i haven't mentioned it before but each doodle that has an evolution has a skin evolution as well for example pablet and others also to include there are misprint easter event skins in the game too now here we are at route 4 the same thing applies you can find the wiglet in the wild over here the wiglet skin and you can also find the larvae skin here in the wild so the same thing as the graphite lodge Okay, so here we are at Route 3, and sort of the same thing applies. You can find the Larvae in the wild, you can find the Wiglet in the wild, and you can find the Borbo in the wild. So if you want to hunt either of those three, just come here and hunt them in the wild. And as always, Glovey appears everywhere. Okay, so here we're at Lakewood Town, which means this is the place where you can encounter the moss skin. Basically, if you want to hunt the Easter moss, just come to Lakewood Town and run around in the pond. Eventually, as you run around in the pond, you will encounter a moss in the wild or a tadpole in the wild. So basically, just do that for a while and eventually you'll be able to find the moss Easter skin in the wild. 
And now here we are at the Lakewood Sewer. There's actually two skins that you can find over here. The first skin that you can find over here is Mold, which as you can see over here, looks really, really cool. The second skin that you can find over here, which is my favorite one if I'm being honest, is the Riff Rat Easter skin. I really like how it looks. It has that little eggs over here. And honestly, I believe that the Riff Rat Easter skin is my favorite one. So just come over here, run in the wild and hunt for them. If you want to find a specific one, like I said, you can just chain for them. So basically, let's say you want to find the Riff Rat skin, you can just hunt it in the wild. And if you haven't found an Easter Riff Rat and you've killed 500 of them, the 501st Riff Rat that you encounter in the wild will have the Easter skin. And now the final skin that I have to cover for this video, the Bun Sweet skin. Bun Sweet sort of like is apart from the rest, so poor, poor bunny. Basically just go to Route 2 and do the world, run in the wild, and you'll eventually be able to find the Bun Sweet Easter skin in the wild. Also, I forgot to cover one more route, and that's called Route Number 1. The doodles that appear in Route Number 1 is Bun Sweet and Burbo. So if you want to hunt Bun Sweet and Burbo, just go to Route 1, and eventually you'll be able to find the Easter skin. If you're too lazy to hunt, just use the roulette. You can also find all these doodles in the roulette. So if you have Robux and don't have time, just hop on the roulette and do that. Personally, I really like how you can just chain for these doodles and after killing them a certain amount of times, you will automatically find them in the wild. So like I said, this event is free to play. Anyone can find these skins in the wild. Literally, it's free. Just chain the Lumion and you'll eventually find the Easter skin in the wild. Okay guys, so here's a final look at every skin that was added into the Doodle World event. My favorite one, definitely the Riff Rat one then the Borba one, and then the Pebble one. I also feel that the Wiggler one is quite silly, to say the least. What was your favorite skin? Please let me know about it in the comment section down below. And are you gonna be hunting these skins in the Doodle World event? Where will you be hunting these skins in the Doodle World event? Personally, if you're gonna be hunting these skins in the event, you should definitely hunt them in Crossroads. I feel like you got the best chance of finding an Easter skin in Crossroads, because all but one of the Doodles that appear in Crossroads are part of the Easter event. By the way, there is no official date for the event to end, However, Wish said that the event will be ending sometime next week. So make sure to hunt in the event until then and get as much skins as you can. As always, you can roll them in the roulette if you don't have the time to hunt them, but if you have the Robux to get them. Also guys, if you hunt these skins, make sure to find their evolutions and see how the evolutions look. Because as I said before, each skin that has an evolution has an evolution to the skin. For example, Pavlet, Wiglet, and others. Something that wasn't added into this event is that there is no event exclusive doodle, which means that every single thing that was added into the event were skins. There's no doodle that is only limited to Easter. Personally, I would really like to see a doodle that is limited to these events. I feel like they would be very, very cool to find and very cool to see. Maybe like an Easter inspired doodle. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy hunting in this event because it's free for everyone to play and these skins look very, very cool. But yeah, guys, this is basically everything you need to know about the Easter event and where to find every Easter skin in the game. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Menti and we lit.